Hey everybody, this is Robert from sdparkflyers.com. I've shot a lot of videos uh, that showed you guys how to do basic building of a EPP kit, but one of my subscribers actually sent me an email saying, hey, you've never shown a video how you install the servos and these little um, stick mounts on your planes. So I thought I would just do a quick tip video that shows you how I install it. All that's required to install the stick mount and the basic servos on my kits. You're going to need a brand new or a sharp X-Acto knife and a roll of strapping tape. And what strapping tape is, is and I get this at the local staple store, it's the clear tape that has the fiberglass strips in it. So let me uh, put the camera in position and let me show you how I install it. This is really fast and simple, so watch part two. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to install the motor mount. Um, this is normally done when the plane is basically finished, and one of the last things you're going to do is put in the motor mount. So to install it, it's really simple. You're going to just put the motor mount in the slot in the front of the plane, and this is a flat profile plump, uh, foamy, so all you're going to do is you're going to put it in the plane, take your strapping tape, Again, the strapping tape is the tape that actually has the fiberglass cloth in it. And what I like to do is I like to just lay out, lay, out, lay, lay a strip down here on the table here. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this into some like two inch strips. At least four strips are required, so. Put your tape into about four strips. It helps if you have a really sharp, sharp, a sharp exacto blade to do this. So just cut it in the four strips. I'm doing this all real time so you can see how easy this is to do this. Okay, so then all you're really going to do is real simple here. I just place the motor mount in the spot here and all you're going to do is you're going to put some tape on here like this one on the front one on the back flip it over one on the front one on the back That's it. That's all that's required to install the motor mount. Four pieces of tape. It doesn't look like much, but since there's a lot of surface area here, that actually keeps it locked in place. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install a servo. Now, what you need to do on the servo, because there's a wire here, when you're trying to push the servo into the foam, the wire is going to hit the foam, so you need to put a little cut in your foam where the wire is going to go to give it a little bit of release and then you're going to just put your foam, put your servo into the foam like this and then all you're going to do to install it is put a piece of tape on one side all you got to do is have enough tape here to cover the servo and about a half an inch on the foam on each side don't cover up where the control horn is going to go because you want free movement and then flip it over and then grab yourself a little piece of strapping tape and do the other side just like that real fast clean and simple that's how I install all my servos as you can see here on my planes I just tape them in. No glue is required. What's nice about this, if you ever have a serve, servo failure and you need to remove stuff, there's no glue that needs to be removed. It's real fast and simple. You can change out servos really quickly. So once again, I just tape in the stick mounts using the strapping tape and I use the same method for the servos. I just tape them in. The only thing you have to do on the modification, as I said on the servo, is make sure you cut a little release for the servo wire so you can push it in there flush. 
I hope that helps. If you have any questions about this video, please drop me a line. Please rate this video down in the bottom. Let's see, we're back here down in the bottom. Please rate the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see other videos in the future, please let me know. Thanks again.